Que lo que mi gente, yo soy Ricky de Bilingue Vlogs. Thank you for tuning in to another video. If you are a subscriber, thank you for always watching my content. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today we're talking about Dominican colloquial phrases slash slang. If you guys want to learn Dominican slang before I teach you like a whole bunch of stuff, you don't have to wait on me. On my website, which is up here, also down in the description, there's a link to a post that I did about these, the Caribbean slang. Uh, it's like four or five different Dominican sites, same thing with Puerto Rican sites and Spanish sites that I put together for you guys to check out. So go visit the site to learn more Dominican slang because I only gave you about, like I said, 11 or 12 terms. There's so many more terms that you can learn. Take it upon yourself. I gave you a lot of resources in that post on my blog, so go ahead and check it out. Let's, uh, let's get started here. So if somebody messes up, like let's say that you, I don't know, you do something bad and you mess up. Or let's say that you answer a question but you answer the question wrong. The neutral Spanish way to say that would be equivocarse. But in Dominican Spanish, you can use those, but they also have their own way of saying it. So if I, you know, did something bad, um, somebody might tell me, loco, pero tú te guayate. Or if I, you know, answer a question wrong, let's say, um, for example, a teacher asked me, what's two plus two when I say five? Then the other students might make fun of me and be like, ah, loco, la macate, la macate, loco. Another way to say if somebody did something bad or did something wrong would be, tú te la comiste, right? But we have to be careful because depending on the context, that could be a good thing. Okay, so let's say uh, we had a test and you got an F and I got an A. Then I might be like, no, tú te la comiste, right? But let's say that you saw that I got an A and you were excited for me, then you could be like, loco, tú te la comiste. Like it just depends on the tone. That will let you know if it's the good, te la comiste, or the bad, te la comiste. <laughs> so you really have to pay attention to the context there and the, and the emotion involved with it, okay? So that's the first one. To mess up, to do something bad, we have all those words. Next, when somebody is in love in Spanish, they are enamorado. In Dominican Spanish, you can say enamorado. That's one way. Or more common. Not more, I'm not saying more common, but it's very. I've heard a lot of Dominicans use this word. Aficiado. Loca, pero que tú hiciste con mi primo? El tipo está aficiado de ti. He's in love with you. He's crazy about you. That's what the word really means. So it's kind of like crazily in love with somebody. Or you can say emperrao. I personally never use this word, emperrao, but it's a Dominican word. You can use it if you want to. Word number three, let's say somebody is bothering you, right? And you want them to leave you alone. You would just simply say, déjame en paz in neutral Spanish. But in Dominican Spanish, you will say, dame banda, or suéltame en banda, right? So I'm sure you guys, if you're lovers of, of Spanish music, you've heard the Te Bote song by Osuna and all those people, Bad Bunny and whoever else is on there, right? Well, there's a part in the chorus where they say, So that's, dame banda. So te vi banda y te solté. I left you alone. How do you say forget it? In, in neutral Spanish, you'll say, Olvídalo. Olvídalo. A mí no me importa. Right? But in Dominican Spanish, you'll say, Tumba eso. Tumba eso. Pero esta camisa cuesta cinco dólares. Tumba eso. Tumba eso. Yo no lo voy a comprar. Next, when you want someone to tell you something, in Spanish, you, you, you can say, Dime. Even in Dominican Spanish, as a greeting, we say dime, dime, dimelo, or answer the phone, dime, right? But you could also say montame, montame. For example, the phrase, montame la pura. Mira, pero yo quiero que tú me monte la pura. I want you to tell me the truth. Yo quiero que tú me digas la verdad. La pura is equal to la verdad. La pura means the truth. That's what we say, montame la pura. Not we, I'm not Dominican. Let's say you got somebody who is just really like, you know, silly, really crazy. And you wanna be like, man, who, who, 
what's up with your with your mess like who supports your, your craziness right then you will say ¿Quién te contesa? you can use it in a joking way i mean you i guess you can use it in a serious way too but i use it more in a joking way if somebody's being silly like yo ¿Quién te contesa? there's a phrase that my dad used to always say when i was a kid i ain't stunned them right i ain't stunned them i never knew what that meant but I know what it means now. It means like, you know, I'm not worried about them. I'm not paying attention to them. So how do you say that in Dominican Spanish? No estoy en gente. Like, if I'm mad at you right now, if, you, if you're trying to talk to me and I don't want to hear it, I'll be like, no estoy en ti. Pero suéltame en banda, yo no estoy en ti. You get it? So like, I'm not stunning you. I'm not, I'm not worried about you. So now let's talk about if somebody, you know, kind of left you hanging or if they kind of cut you off, right? And they don't talk to you anymore and you see them in person, you want to greet them, you'll be like, Pero que lo que? Tu me sacas los pies? O tu me sacaste los pies? Sacar los pies? Means that like they abandoned you, they left you. Next, we have a kind of sarcastic rebuttal. So, Let's say we're arguing or something, and I don't agree with what you're saying. Only, but you think that you're right. So you say, no, but salsa is better than machata. I'll be like, en tu mente. That's what you think. That's, that's kind of an obvious one, en tu mente. That's what you think. The next phrase that we have is, te pasaste. And, uh, and just so you know, you don't have to use all these with te. It just depends on who you're talking to. But I'm talking, I'm right now I'm using it in a you know direct sense, talking directly to you. So I say te a lot. But if somebody did something something else, then you can use se or whatever. I see this a lot when people are joking, right? People are joking on Instagram and then on the on the comments below they'll be like, oh, tu te pasaste logo, tu te pasaste, oh, esta gente se pasa. Which means that literally means that they've gone too far. And it depends on the context of, of how you're gonna use this. If you say tu te pasaste like in a in a serious tone, then it's like, bro, you went too far, you shouldn't have done that. But if you are laughing at a joke and you're like, la gente se pasa, like you're laughing, then it just means that like you know how people say you play too much, but they're but they're joking or they'll be like, man, he's so stupid, he's so stupid, like but but they're joking, they're not they're not saying you're stupid like you're dumb, but like it's just because you're funny. So, if you're gonna hang out with your people in Dominican Spanish, that will be hacer un coro. Hacer un coro. Loco, dime que es lo que contigo, que es lo que tú vas a hacer. Oye, a las tres hoy vamos a hacer un coro en mi casa, tú sabes. Un corito sano. <laughs> un corito sano, tú sabes. No, pero tú sabes, hacer un coro es como to hang out. Next we have Dema. Dema. You may hear this in a lot of Dominican songs. What is tu Dema? Dema itself is like envy. So like, what is tu Dema? is like, why are you hating on me? Why are you so envious of me? Why are you hating on me? And further than that, a hater would be un Dema Gogo. So like, El Alfa del Jefe has a song called Dema Gogo with Bad Bunny. He's like, Dema Gagegi Gogo. Cause so it's like, tu eres la sílaba completa. So he's saying that you're pretty much a really big hater. So he's calling you a demaga ge y goku. But it's really just a demagogo. Anyways, <laughs> that was an extra explanation. But anyways, um, yeah. So that's all of the Dominican slang words that I have for you guys today. If there are any Dominicans watching this video that want to elaborate on anything that I said, feel free. Or want to make any corrections to anything I said, feel free. Um, you know, these are all things that I have experienced. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you are not a subscriber, like I said, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below. And also, most importantly, share the video with others. I'm gonna be having um, the Puerto Rican Sling video coming out soon, probably tomorrow, maybe today. And then I'm going to have the Cuban Sling video coming out too. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching and que pase un buen día. So we're gonna try to freestyle rap in Spanish. I always write songs in Spanish, but I wanna see how fast my mind works. So, vamos a hacerlo. This might be a short video. <laughs>
estoy aquí improvisando el americano con el flow dominicano hey, tú sabes que yo canto igualito a Romeo Santo esto no es de vaca pero yo sí soy bacano dime qué es lo que ah, quiero saber lo que está pasando hey, mi primer idioma es el inglés pero yo hablo español como si fuera de RD ah. Yo te saludo, digo que lo que Yo estoy grabando Porque sé que tú me quieres ver Yo no sé lo que voy a decir Pero yo sí tengo que seguir Ay, yo estoy duro Así que yo no voy a fingir Yo soy de la calle Pero yo soy de la valle Ok, eso fue mentira Pero <risa> ya